Welcome to the Collector Cave, and today we have a review of some effect pieces, not necessarily a figure, but effect pieces by uh, Tamashii Nations, uh, Bandai Namco, which also makes, makes uh, SH Figure Arts figures. And I bought this off of Big Bad Toy Store, uh, BBTS, and it's currently sold out. Uh, they were thirty; It was $30, $29.99, and it's a reissue. They've got a bunch of different effect pieces. They've got wind, water, different types of effect pieces. But I bought this um, quite a while ago. I had it in my... Um, in my pile of loot for a while because I have a figure coming out that I've got a pre-order coming out sometime soon. I bought this for specifically. But in the meantime, we'll review the pieces. I do have some figures we can kind of show show it with that I think will look pretty cool. But, you know, pretty much this is a, a Japanese uh, company. Um, it is made in China, but as you can see here, um, Bandai Spirits designed by Tamashi Nations in Japan, made in China. And then there's the uh, Tamashii Nations logo. This is an official piece. It's not some type of ripoff. Uh, there's a Bandai logo, Tamashii Nation. And it says here, it's hard to read because it's red, but it says Tamashii Effect. It's a series of effect parts that aims to recreate a stunning variety of scenes through imposing designs. By combining, combining Tamashii Effect pieces with H SH Figure Arts figures, you can craft incredible displays that feel truly real. So there's the write-up, and here's an example of what a figure might look like. Now they say SHF, of course they're going to say that, because this is the company that owns SHF, but any type of figure, uh, a Black Series figure, Hasbro, Mezco, Mafex, you name it, uh, this is 1 12th scale, so it'll fit in with most of those. You know, McFarlane toys, maybe even McFarlane. Here's the side, um, all Japanese, um, I don't know what it says, but burning flame effect pretty much. And then here's the back. It looks like it's a total of seven different pieces, and some of these pieces can combine to make taller pieces, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that when I ordered it, but um, yeah, so here's what it looks like. You can do some cool effects. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and then see what it looks like. All right, and here is the effect pieces out of packaging. Um, these things are way cooler than I expected. Um, it's sometimes pictures, it's hard to judge by pictures or even video camera, what, what's picking up, the, the true colors, the translucency, things like that. But I am really impressed with my first impressions of this stuff right out of the, pot, right out of the packaging. And so if I bring this in for a detailed look, as you can see, it's, it's very translucent, so you can get some lighting behind it, and it'll, it'll really pop. Um, this couple of these are on ball pegs, which is crazy, but you can actually move them. And they pop right out. As you can see, it's a ball peg. It just pops. So you don't need to, if you want to take it off for a smaller effect, you can do that. Pop it in and you can move it all around. I mean, this is really cool. I'm super impressed so far. A um, little top heavy on that one. You got to push it back or it'll fall over. This one here too is also on a ball hinge. So you get some maneuverability. And they just pop out, as you can see. Real simple. Look at that. Super cool, tall flame effect. On the bottom, it does, oh, this one doesn't have printing. One of these has printing on the bottom. I think this is bigger one. This bigger one's got some printing on the bottom. Bandai Spirits, China. So, man, look at that. And it's, it's, it's a soft rubber, but also hard, stiff. There's some bendability on the edges, but it's not like it's gonna fall and break. Like if this fell off my table, hit the ground, this isn't gonna shatter. The type of plastic it's made out of. I don't know if this is considered PVC. I'm, I'm not really sure what type of plastic, but it feels good. There's some good weight to it. And then there's these smaller pieces. Look at this. You can maybe wrap around people's arms right here, or maybe their leg, probably their arm. It's smaller. You know, same thing, maybe around a neck right here. And then, uh, yeah, some more that can just be set somewhere. You can place them on the ground in front of the characters. You can. Put them on their arms, around their neck. Really cool. So I'm excited because I, I don't do as much toy photography as I used to. Um, I I was quite active in the toy toy photography scene. Um, I think I have my Instagram account linked to this, but it's uh, Thrawn's Black Series Art. If you want to check my stuff out on Instagram, it's I'm not as active as I used to be. It's just a lot. But man, if you're into toy photography, this set is for you. Instead of having to do some type of Photoshop thing, if you're into if you're into real effects um, and not Photoshop, this is it. 
this is the P and for 30 bucks, like I think this is a great deal personally. And you know, maybe someone sees this and says 30 bucks is a lot of money, but I'm telling you right now how much stuff costs nowadays and seeing the artistry in some of this stuff and the details and the coloring uh, for 30 bucks, I'm impressed. So I'm going to mess with this for a few minutes with a figure and let's see what we come up with. Okay, before I mess with it, I just want to show you as an example. This is Human Torch from Mezco, right? And this is the stuff he comes with. And it's really cool. Like, I ha I've had him on this flame tower. This goes around his legs. It connects to here. It doesn't connect very good, but it does connect. And then he he's, like, on top of this flame tower, like so. And the flame tower lights up. Um, I think I have batteries in there. There's batteries in here. So you see it lights up. And it kind of, you know, it's kind of cool. His head lights up as well, and it looks real cool. But these are kind of the flame pieces that Mezco gave with um, Human Torch. This one here is really cool, shooting fireballs. So I'm going to incorporate the Tamashi Nation's fire effects and see what we come up with. Okay, here's something I just whipped up in like two minutes. It didn't take a whole lot of time with it, but um, as you can see, man, you can engulf your figures in flame just like I've done here. Now, a couple of these pieces are still Mezco pieces, specifically this, this hand piece here where you're shooting the fireballs out. That's I don't have the box out for my Fantastic Four, so I've got this hand in play. But that hand is from Mezco. This piece of fire up here is Mezco. And then the fireball in his hand is Mezco. But the rest of this is all the, uh, the Tamashi Nations um, stuff that I just opened up. You know, this piece here, one problem I'm having with the Mezco figure, and it's probably because SHF are smaller, is this is not big enough to get around like his leg or his wrist, his arm. So, um, for example, up here, if I move this one out of the way, this piece I put on right, right here. I had to take his hand off the peg, put the piece on, then put his hand on in order for it to go around his, uh, his wrist. And the Mezco stuff um, is more bendy, as you can see. So when you're trying to put it around this fabric suit, um, it's got some bendability. So you're not going to rip that fabric. Whereas SHF stuff is a little bit more, it's some bendy, but it's definitely like there's no bend here where you put in the wrist. So I don't want a chance. And there's a little bit of bend. You could possibly bend it and get it on the figure, but you got to be real careful with the fabric suits with the Mesco. So I didn't want to get too crazy. But yeah, look at, I mean, look how cool this is. Just getting that light. So if you get a certain angle, you could get a super cool picture, right, of him with his fire. Get this thing lit up with lights behind it, and uh, you can really make this thing shine. But how cool is that? Very awesome. Let's try another figure real quick. All right, this has got me giddy. Dr. Doom going full on fireball. Check this out. I mean, this is so cool. I was able to bend this piece right here on his fist to go over his fist to make it look like he's just shooting up fire. How awesome is that? Look at that. Yeah. Super cool. Doom is maybe going up against Doctor Strange or like Captain America and pfft, game over, man. You can't compete with Doom. Yeah, that is really cool. What, uh, man, and so this would be cool just to even have in your detail, right, around a figure like Doom or, or someone like that or like, you know, Johnny, Johnny Storm like we just showed. Let's try one more. All right, here's Darkseid from Mezco. And maybe he's on Apocalypse and there's just fire all around him and he's just engulfed in it. I was able to get two of these small pieces that are supposed to go around SHF like figures like their arms onto his fingertips because he's so big. So it looks like he's got fire in his hands. Look at that, that is so cool. If I zoom in closer, look at the detail in that, in that plastic, that fire. It looks so good. So you can see where I've got it connected to his fingers there. Same over here. I've got it connected. You can, you know, you can change this up. You can figure out all sorts of ways to make this look. I just took a couple minutes to do this. And I think it looks pretty neat. 
So, uh, you know, he's he's approaching, I think, I think he's like nine inches tall almost or something. He's a lot taller, so the fire effects aren't as high. Let me lower my camera a little bit. As you can see, they're lower, but still, I mean, you get the idea. You don't even have to even use these if you don't want. You could just use these ones on his fingertips, right? Look at that. So really cool. So at the end of the day, it's just worth it. I think for uh, $29.99, it absolutely is. Now, unfortunately, it's sold out on BBTS. So I don't know if maybe you can get it somewhere else, maybe from AmiAmi, I'm not sure. Some other retailer that sells SHF stuff. Uh, but man, I think it's cool, even if you don't do toy photography, to have this stuff connected to your figures while on display in a Detolf um, is really cool. Again, the quality I think is really good. Uh, the color they did on this is phenomenal. I love that there's ball joints and you can, you know, pop these apart and you can move them around a little bit. I think it's a really cool idea. It's not just, they didn't just phone it in and make, make flame pieces. They actually made, put some thought behind it, which I really appreciate. So yeah, um, this has been Tamashi Nation's Van Dynamco um, Effect Burning Flame Pieces. So, you know, until next time, you know, give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe if you want, and we'll see you in the next video.